Hey everyone, I'm Adam Kelly. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the 3D cursor to rotate objects around other objects and even faces, edges, and vertices around other faces, edges, vertices, or whatever you'd like to put the cursor on. So let me show you really quick what this can look like. I'm talking about the 3D cursor, which is currently positioned at the origin, which is 000. And if I were to try and rotate this to start, if I hit R and Z to lock it to the Z axis, it's just going to rotate around itself, basically. And what I'd like to show is how to rotate around this center point. All you have to do is go up here and you can change the pivot point to the 3D cursor. And that means that any movements, scales, or rotations are going to be centered on this pivot. So I'm going to rotate. So I hit R, Z, and now this time it rotates around the cube, which is pretty cool. But there's also some really advanced things you can do with rotations like this once you've got the cursor. I'm going to show you something that's uh, really kind of different. So I'm going to create an archway, and I'm going to try and do this just kind of simply. So I'm, I'm going to not worry too much about making this the most correct shape, and I'm going to spend more time just showing you how you can do this. So I'm going to delete these faces. And I'll actually select both of them. I'm going to move them up just a little bit. And I think that's probably pretty good for what I want to do. But I'm going to do something really different here. And I'm going to rotate this around the z-axis by 20 degrees. OK, so let's say I want to turn this into an arch. Well, that would be kind of hard to do. One way to do it would be to create like a cylinder and then cut off half and then try and connect all these. But I'm going to do this in a very different way. So I'm going to make sure I'm in edit mode. I'm going to select both of these edges right here. And I'm going to do Shift S. And it's going to give me some options. And I can do cursor to selected. And what it does is it sort of moves this cursor to be in the middle of these two things that I had selected. And in case you forget where that is, you can go to Mesh, Snap, and you can do Cursor to Selected. That's another way to get in there. Now, this cursor right now, if I were to take something, I'm going to like extrude and rotate um, around the cursor, it's going to do some weird stuff. That's not really what I want. And even if I did X, it's not going to rotate quite the way I want it to. It's rotating around the, the world X, the global X. So I'm going to undo that, make sure I don't have that still extruded. I'm going to change this cursor to be rotated. And you can go into the view settings here on this tab. And you can then go into rotation. So I want to rotate this around the Z axis by 20 degrees, just to match up with that number that I typed in when I rotated this cube. And now you can see that the cursor is aligned with the rotation of this cube. And if I change the transform orientations to cursor, now when I select an edge, I'm going to extrude it. I'm going to hit R to rotate it. And I'm going to do X, I think. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's it's it seems to be confused. I've I've maybe done a little bit too much here. I'm going to try and do this again. R X. OK, there we go. So it seems to be um, rotating around this X axis here and I'm going to rotate it. Maybe let's see what's a good multiple of 90. I'll just do negative um, 15 here and then I'll do E R X negative 15, ERX, negative 15, ERX, negative 15. So now you're starting to see that I'm creating this archway and I can do this all the way around, which is pretty neat. So uh, I'll just do that really quick.
And then for the final one, you just select these two edges and you hit F. And now we have this completed arch that was created on a weird angle using this cursor as our pivot point, but also it is rotated. So that's something that's normally really hard to do, something that's not aligned with, with the uh, X and Y axis, but we've been able to do it here with just this cursor. So uh, to get out of this, if in case you don't want your cursor here, you can always change this back to zero, 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 or you can hit shift C and it should change your cursor back to here. So hopefully this was a nice little illustration of the power of being able to rotate around the cursor and some different things you can do with it. Let me know what you thought in the comments and thanks for watching.